We are living in a world today where you are consuming so much content on a daily basis. However, my question is, how much are you creating? so much content on a daily basis. However, my question is, how much are you creating? Are you consuming or are you creating? Because you need to create just as much, if not more, than you consume. Does that make sense? Raise your hands there. If you're consuming, you're spending money and time. If you're creating, you're making money and time. You tell yourself, I'm too busy. Doing what you're currently doing. Does that make sense? Yes or no, guys? So, let's talk about this problem. The 80-20 rule, or law. Pareto's law. Who has heard of this particular? Now, like I said, um, I checked out both uh, the social media profiles and uh, especially Suplace has a big following, like 10,000 followers on Instagram, mm -hmm. but there's not a lot of engagement. So there's not a lot of uh, people like commenting, liking on the posts. So I think that's one of the, 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 the big, big issues. I think that's what we need to improve on because uh, the more people engage with the post, the more interest there is. And like you said beforehand, like we don't need to sell straight away. We need to... Like just get people interest first, you know, raise awareness, get people interested, and then like every so many posts we can say like, oh, we have a sale on, or oh, you know, uh, we have this on offer and stuff like that. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay then, I'm ready okay, to get thanks. started. Thanks. Okay then. Goodbye. Bye. Uh, what's going on, guys? Just sign like it's it's, it's one client, but. It's, it's two companies, so in a way, it's, it's sort of two, two clients, but uh, one owner. But yeah, really excited about that. That's like that's a big win for me for for Brand Panier. That's definitely a good, uh, good win for the company. And in London at the moment, bit of a messy video, but um, like obviously, I'm I'm trying to document the journey as much as possible. And I promise you, like this all does tie in all together. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to like touch up on that or just explain that. I just signed another client. Big win for me. And it's from the United Arab Emirates, the, the owner for, of the two companies from Dubai. So that's like a proper big international client. So really happy with that one. I was actually quite nervous to, to speak to the guy because I looked at his photo on Skype. I, he looks like this like big boss, you know what I mean? Like he looks like really, like he knows a lot of people in the high places, stuff like that. But yeah, happy with that, just rambling on. But um, in terms of the video, because I know this video is quite messy, you know, it's, bit, it's all over the place. Started off with the with the seminar, with the it was like a, it was a public speaking and expert marketing seminar by Andy Harrington, the guy from uh, from the UK, and he's in Holland. I think it's like once a year or something like that. And obviously, like he's trying to sell his courses, his workshops, his mastermind classes, and stuff like that. But I went with my business mentor, um, Asos, and uh, he's also a client of mine actually. But they. Like, even though he's a client, he's my business mentor as well because he, he sort of like helps me. I I help him with social media marketing and stuff like that, and he helps me with business and like self improvement. So good little relationship going with him, and he said to me like he's 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 in public speaking and stuff like that as well. And instead of going there trying to get clothes, like he said, no, like watch for this, look at that. You know, he, he tried to explain to me how the like how Andy Harrington is trying to sell, how he's closing, you know, what he does, like the little cues that he has, and the little like subtle things that you wouldn't notice unless someone told you that he's going to do that. You know, like um, they, they, when they do public speaking, they constantly pre-frame yet to get into this like yes state of mind. So every single time you'll say something which is like 
uh, like something that's obvious. Like he'll go like, if you agree with this, say I, and he'll stick his hand up, and you'll say I as well, and stick your hand up as well. Stuff like that. Like you're in that frame of mind of saying yes and agreeing with everything he says. So then when you when he gets like the the clothes or when he gets to something he wants to sell, then you're already in this that that state of mind that you know you've built rapport with him and you're constantly agreeing with him. So you'll agree with you know whatever he's trying to sell. But um, one of the things, like one of the major takeaway points from that whole uh, seminar was build a team around yourself and around your business like you're only as good as your team and if you can build like this this massive like or like the only way to build like a massive empire is by having like a really strong team you know helping you like with the workload but also just like it's, it's hard to explain like it probably i'm not sure if i got it on video but like andy harrington explains it better than me obviously but just build a team around your business or like your entrepreneurial venture and you'll just go so much further than trying to do everything yourself. Like obviously when when, when you start off you wanna be like this one man machine and you know try and get everything done yourself. But if you build a team around yourself and a team of hungry like individuals that really wanna improve and really wanna help you on your way, then you'll just get so much further. And with that said, I'm in London at the moment and uh, like the more I'm here, the more I'm thinking, like the more I'm considering, like getting other people on, like to join me with Brand Paneo, like whether it's it's social media management, content creation, just getting more people just to uh, like grow and expand with me. You know what I mean? Like just like have more Brand Paneos basically, and it's something I'm really excited about doing. Big step for me as well. Like obviously, like there's a few people that I outsource some work to, but having someone like along with me, like not necessarily necessarily physically but not an outsourcer but someone that's actually like going to help me on my way that's something i'm considering obviously it's a big step because you know like your income does dip because you know you've got like his wages and his like raising and stuff like that but i think that if you really want to scale your business that's probably the 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 best thing to do in the long run so something considering let me know in the comments down below if you've got any experience with this or any advice from me uh i'm no idea how long this video is going to be absolutely no idea so I'll probably just wrap up this video here as well. Uh, in terms of like like with me in London and seminars and getting clients, like it's not 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 to brag or anything like that. Obviously, I'm gaining a bit of momentum, but other than that, it's like you know I'm just documenting my journey, just seeing like it's it's for myself more than to to brag. You know what I mean? It's not like uh, oh look at me, I'm, I'm doing well. You know, it's it's just to see like how I started off and if something goes wrong that I can look back onto and I'd say oh yeah you know what went wrong there like for example uh, I lost a client last week or yeah last week I lost a client just cause communication in the end it was more like him telling me what to do rather than me growing his business online so we just had like I think we just weren't, we weren't on the, like the same, t same level same term so in the end we just said you know it's probably best if we just go our separate ways um, like we didn't end on bad terms or anything like that. I still got him on WhatsApp, and you know, not really, not you know, not made yet. Um, he paid me, and that's it. It's the end of the rest is history. You know, I think he's got someone else to do his social media now. But obviously, that's like something that I don't think a lot of people on social media like everyone's closing clients, getting clients there, clients here, and there's only a select few that actually acknowledge like losses in terms of uh, social media management or social media marketing. So I just want to put that out there. Like, it's not all, there's not, you know, it's not always highlights and going up and up and up, you know, like sometimes the stuff like this does happen, but yeah, I'm rambling on. I'm just gonna wrap up this video here. Promise that the next video will probably be more structured and there'll be more than just uh, random, like clips all stuck together. So anyway, like this video if you've got, if you've got something out of it at the least. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.